Hello and welcome to a short video on the Device Manager tool. This is the easiest way to find the DOS IP cameras, IP NVRs and DVRs when they're connected to the same physical network as your laptop. That could be via a Wi-Fi connection, could be via an Ethernet cable. As long as your computer and the NVR and the cameras that you're looking at are on the same network, then you should be easy to find. So let's start out from here. I know that my device, and this is my computer, is on the modem router. I know that my NVR is already on the modem router because I've set that up previously. And if I do my search, I can find four of the five cameras I have connected. The fifth camera is a Hike Vision camera. Obviously it uses a different format and a different uh, type of uh, yeah, it uses a different profile. So this tool will not find OnViv cameras. It will only find the cameras that are from the DOS brand. So that's using their i8, i8s's, i8h's uh, and S-Link profiles. So from here you can see that my NVR is at .1.201 up the top here. I've selected IP cameras, NVRs and DVRs down the bottom and so these are the four here are my four of my five IP cameras. You can see they're all at the same IP address. If I go to one of these cameras from here, then I've got the ability using the controls down the bottom here to modify its IP address. I can set the time for that device. I can restore it to its default and I can even preview the vision for it. Uh, with the screen recording software I'm using, it doesn't actually show the overlay when that window pops up for some reason. So Essentially, all you'd need to do to preview it is tick the box, make sure the password is correct, preview, and then you'd get a pop-up window that shows you the camera's view itself. When all four cameras are at the same IP address, that view could be any one of the four cameras, which is obviously not ideal for a permanent solution. But from here, you can obviously go through, click that button. Again, the overlay doesn't show, but it will give you an IP address that you can change, a subnet mask if you need to, and a gateway address. And if you change all of those to match your system, and change each of these sequentially to give them all unique IP addresses, then they will all be working and working properly. Uh, from this, you can also restore your NVR itself. So if something's gone wrong, hit the restore button from here. Again, the overlay doesn't come up, but from here, you've got the ability to reset the network settings, the alarm settings, the user management settings, and any other settings that you might want to. Uh, you can do those individually or you can restore the whole lot and put it back to the defaults it was when it came out of the box. Thank you and hope that was useful.